friends, this is Jamie. I want to welcome you to my channel today. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Today I am going to share with you part of my Asian coloring book collection. Um, I am starting a hashtag, well, I have started a hashtag. <laughs> this video is a little late going out, but that's okay. Um, starting in the month of August going to the end of November, so basically August 1st until, what is it, November 31st or November 30th? Yeah, basically to the end of November to color in your Asian coloring books. And um, I thought a great way to uh, kind of launch this off or uh, kind of inspire people to color in them is to show you guys my Asian coloring book collection. I think this one took me a minute to get started because I was trying to translate everything <laughs> so I could at least give you a title of a book. Um, I may not have all the illustrators uh, and publishers and all that stuff um, translated, but I will do the best I can. And um, But at least I have the general gist of the names of the books for you guys. And while I'm doing this, um, we'll kind of look through some pages and stuff. Um, I, I, the hashtag is Jamie's Asian is, so it's hashtag Jamie's Asian. I'll put it on the screen so that you guys can know what it is. Um, while I'm doing this, I will be tabbing pages throughout. If I see any pages that have to do with space or outer space, I may tab them for Space Timber because um, I am one of the hosts for Space Timber this year um, and I want to work in my Asia books, so if I see anything that has to do with outer space, I might tab it. And if I see anything to do with Halloween or anything that just inspires me to color, I may tap those as well. We'll just kind of see, because a lot of these books, some of them have been touched, but a lot of them have not. So I will show you what I have colored if I have touched them. And I've decided to kind of separate these in parts, just so the video's not like a four hour video, because I tend to talk. And we'll just kind of go from there. Um, yeah. So uh, I have my mat out and my little tabs. Just set those aside and we'll kind of just get started. Um, yeah, my screen. Just a second here. I just wanted to make sure my screen was working. It was on sleep mode because it's nighttime and stuff and it went gray and I'm like, hopefully it's not recording in gray. So hopefully um, if it was recording in gray, I fixed it. But if it's not, then we don't need to worry about it. Uh, first book I want to share with you is A Little One. So uh, here it is right here. It's called Spring, Summer, Fall, Winter Fashion Girl. This is, I believe, a Korean coloring book. I got this a long time ago off of Amazon. I want to say I saw this on Lavelia's channel or something. Um, it's, it's very hard. It's like a postcard book. And all of these um, are different postcards of girls throughout the seasons. And yeah. Like this one I could do for Space Timber because of the stars. That oh, one's pretty. Girl with the ukulele. And so this one I got on the regular Amazon. So there's that one. I have all four of these. So... Um, these books uh, I got on AliExpress, but I know you can get them on Etsy. Um, 
I don't know of any other place besides AliExpress and Etsy. I'm not sure if you can get them on a Amazon. But um, these ones are by Dada Mao. And these are the, I think they call them like poem books. I, I want to say when I tried to translate them, they had something to do with poem, poem books. Um, this one, this one's like an orange, orangey tint and a girl with a red dress on the cover. I did start a page. I started this page a while back using pencils and um, they are sewn in. These ones are and um, I never finished her but they're basically like chibi style. You could use alcohol markers but you'd be sacrificing the page behind and I'm all for chibi so I think this is a Chinese book. If I'm wrong I apologize. I'm pretty sure it's Chinese. And here's some colored pictures in the front. So there is that one. So this one's like the orange one. But I know they're all by Dada Mao. And here's the light blue one. And a lot of them came with um, little poster things in them like this that fold out. And the paper is kind of kind of feels like a watercolor cardstock, but I've heard people say that this doesn't do well with watercolor. So, with my experience, I don't know. This one kind of looks like this inside. Still, again, very chibi like. This one I think I'd feel more comfortable using markers because the back side is just like this. Okay. You can translate all this stuff if you want. And my form of translator that I like to use is uh, the Google Translate where you take a picture with your phone and it translates it instantly through the picture. I have this one that's like a green, emerald green one. It has a poster thing in it too. This poster one I like a lot with the little chibis. Really cute. It's easier to flip through when that poster's not in there. And this paper is thicker than like an Amazon paper, but it's not like as thick as cardstock. This one I'd feel comfortable using markers because there's nothing really on the reverse. I think these ones, the reason why they haven't been colored in is because they're so small. I put them on a shelf that looks nice, so they just look nice and they sit on a shelf and they never get touched because they're just sitting on that nice shelf. Um, so I really need to color in them. And this is, uh, has a red cover. Uh, now there is one that has animals in it, but that's not really my thing. So I didn't get the animal one. Here's the little thing that came with this one. But yeah, just like a chippy. Asian style stuff and if you have like a page like this you could easily turn the background into like a galaxy sky or something if you wanted for space timber so that is those the next one I have here is this one and it's called socks goblin coloring book and this one I got on regular Amazon, and I think this one is Korean. I think when there's little circles like this in the words, I think that's Korean. So correct me if I'm wrong, but this one um, I've had in my collection for a while, and this one is double-sided. And 
it's basically has this little character like this little cat looking character and I think that's the socks goblin lots of little fine things to color I haven't colored in this but I think it would take pencils fairly well I mean the paper is really thick and if you need inspiration there's colored pictures in the front so you can see how they color it more or less sorry it's really thick and I haven't broke the spine because it's so new uh, the next one I have here is this one right here this one is a hardback book and uh, now there's more to the series in this book uh, from this artist so this one is called flower flower girl coloring book by Y young yan or something like that <laughs> Um, now there's another one where the girls on this side and I know there's a Christmas one too but I only own this one and it's the type that has a picture on this side and then a picture on this side to, for you to color and the printing is kind of like a dark maroon color so like this one you could probably do for space because the background that they've done here is like a night sky but I think I'm looking for more of like stars or a lot of constellations maybe would be nice to get into this book this looks like Anna Green Gables to me so like she could be something but um these are flowers they're not stars but see they've made a galaxy here which is really cool so you could turn this into whatever you want it's cute yeah i may have to go back through these if i don't like see things that like catch my eye for space timber but that's okay. I couldn't sleep, so I thought I would start recording this um, for you guys. I have this little one right here, which I had shown not too long ago on the channel, and it's called Color Coloring Book for a Bright Day Together. <laughs> and this one, I think this one's seasonal, yeah. So in the back you've got more like Christmas wintry images. Let's go into fall. And the coloring of the print is a little different. Um, you actually have kind of like a light brown and sometimes they bring in some blue and some grays and stuff. Those are all in the fall. This is in the summer. He's eating watermelon. See how they've done the um, water on that? I haven't colored in this since it's so new. But I really like it. I like anything that has cute little animals in it. And fun. Look, little ducklings for the spring. So there's that one. I have this one, which is really, really cute. This one is called Akazi's Cozy Village Coloring Book. And this, th this one I got on Aladdin, and I think this one's Korean. With the, see how there's little circles in the letters? This one <laughs> reminds me a little bit of Sanrio style. But, yeah, there's a picture on the one side, so you can mimic. But I do think they have a lot of seasonal-looking things going on here, because that's definitely fall. I'm like, here's summer, 
I mean, even you could do something like this for space timber. I mean, they're flying in the sky. And there's a moon and bubbles and it's almost like a dream. It's cute. I remember flipping through this and trying to pick one and it was so hard to pick one because they're all so dang cute. <laughs> so if you have this book and want to help me break into it by doing a buddy color, let me know. We can schedule it sometime between now and November. I'm trying not to overwhelm myself with buddy colors, but we can definitely schedule something. Uh, next one I have here is this one. So this one is called uh, Sesame Atelier Coloring Book. Enjoy art galleries, brings you closer to art. And so this one was kind of like a blind buy. Um, it's basically um, pictures inside like art galleries. And this kind of stuff on this side don't doesn't matter too much to me. So I felt like this is something I could use um, alcohol markers in if I wanted to. And the characters are so cute. That's Paris, obviously. We've got the Eiffel Tower. Some kitties. One kind of spacey. Kind of looks that way. It's like these little star like things. I'm sure I'll come across something really spacey. But yeah. Lots of fun stuff to color in here. So there's that one. This next one I have is Midwinter Sunshine Coloring Book. So this is more winter based, but I remember flipping through this and not everything seemed winter. So like this seems very springtime. And even that doesn't seem too wintry. That definitely is winter. Let's see, look how cute these are. And this paper is very smooth. Paper. Look at that one. That's cute. Like a dream. Look at that one with the penguins. Wouldn't that be so fun to color? Penguins are so cute. Santa Claus one. So some of these could be summer. Like this one could definitely be summer. This one could be fall. And there's lots of fun ones. I'm just kind of looking as I'm flipping. <laughs> really cute. The next one that I have here is this one. And this one is the Desert Fox Mysterious Travel Coloring Book. So this is the traveling one. I have the other one as well. But that one might be another pile because I have a buddy color in it. Uh, but I will show you that one when I have it in front of me. So this is the little desert fox guy. It's like underwater in that one. This one, you have a moon and you could create stars and stuff like that if you wanted. You would have to create everything because it's not there. Like here, he's painted a picture, but this is blank, so you could put whatever you wanted. It's really cute. And the paper looks almost like watercolor, but it's not. It's just the way they've printed it. All these bears are panda bears in this picture, but in this picture, they're not. photo shoot.
Very beautiful desert one. <laughs> He's sliding in a dessert. That's like a giant pineapple. That reminds me of like Hawaii golfing. It must be pretty small because he's able to fit, you know, in the bread car. Look how small these little monkeys are compared to this big bowl of fruit. So there is that one. The next one I have here, this one right here, and this one is called Say Sammy or Say Sami Travel Coloring Book. So this one and the art gallery one I think is by the same artist. And again, it's pretty much single sided. Because, I mean, occasionally you'll get one of those, like a double, but for the most part they're single. But it's like a traveling type of book. And I guess you could translate it and see where they're at if you're curious where they're traveling to. So like this one right here is a good example of one you could do for Space Timber because look, there's constellations. Let's get a flag. And she's looking out and there's a star and there's stars on the um, bedding. She's wishing on a star. You could do this one for Space Timber too. There's planets on that one. And they're looking through a telescope. Just put it on that outer edge. I knew I'd run into one eventually. <laughs> so there's that one. I have this one and that's been in my collection for some time. I'm going to take these off. I'm starting to, I used to put little washi tape things on the side indicating when I've colored in a book, but I've decided just to remove them because I'm doing a different way of how I track things now and I don't want them to ruin my book, so I will just take them off now and just leave them leave them as is. <laughs> and if they, if I flip through them and I've colored a page, great. If I haven't, that's okay too. So this one is the I think it's called the Dollhouse Coloring Book by Yumiko Tesuika. Now this one, I believe it has another cover, and you can get it as an English copy. Um, that says classic house on it, but, um, as I'm flipping through it, you'll recognize pictures if you've seen it. So it has like these cutouts in the back where you can make your own like paper doll things and a house. And I colored this one and this one I actually colored with Jojo Sahana, um, a while ago and it took me a while to color, but I ended up deciding I was just going to use alcohol markers because I didn't care if there was a bleed through and I really liked how he turned out his little garden garden house or yeah room but it just has little like dollhouse type things in it Here's one that has like little stars and lanterns and stuff. They don't really have eyes, so you'd have to put them in. It's very thin and there's not very many things to color. So it's not like this huge book, it's just a tiny, tiny one. And that one I got on Amazon Japan. 
I have this one, which is the Four Seasons Coloring Book. And did I write anything else down? No. I believe it's called Green Ivy is the illustrator, Four Seasons. And this one basically has a girl. Oh, these are all sideways, sorry. And her cat. And the ink job on this, um, they use different colored inks to print. Um, I'm thinking it's to give you inspiration on what color to color these. So hot air balloon there. That's cute. And it has the image on the side here. Here's a cute Halloween one. I'm not going to keep turning the book, but kind of get the general idea. That one with all those books. You have to be in the mood to color all those books. This is like a summer one. After I said I'm not going to turn it anymore. Look how cute that one is. And that one would be fun to color. I'm just kind of trying to keep my eye out for anything space-like. I think that you would want to go the pencil route. Maybe you could do watercolor pencils in here. I'm not sure. I probably would test a back page just to see how it laid down. But yeah, these are the four seasons. And that one's by Green Ivy, I believe. This one is also by the same artist, and this one's called Nostalgia. This one's hardback, and this one might be hard to find. I got mine on Book Depository before they close. Look how pretty this is inside. And this one has better paper. This is like almost like a card compared to the Four Seasons one. And people have done several flip throughs of these books, but since these are part of my collection, I'm just kind of showing you what I have. I think this seems kind of seasonal my, myself. That's what it seems like. Like this wouldn't be that difficult to color. There's not much to it. I mean, some are more busy than others, but yeah, there is nostalgia. I have this one. So this one is called Drawing You in My Memory coloring book. I have the other one, but it must be in another pile. And I'm thinking it's Korean, but I could be wrong. This one is single-sided, I believe. The other one is not. It's like a grayscale looking. Um, I think the first one was supposed to like be like dolls. But I think that these girls and boys actually look like little kids to me. But I think they're supposed to be like porcelain dolls. This one has a silhouette of a man. That one has a silhouette of a woman. Like this one looks like the Wizard of Oz because you've got the Tin Man, the Lion, the Scarecrow, the Little Dog, and this must be Dorothy. And we've got three bunnies here, so maybe that represents something. There is a little translation thing right here, so... I guess if I wanted to translate it and see what it really is supposed to be, I could figure that out. Oh, these are some colored images to inspire. Yeah. Oh, and look, here's an example of the dolls that they're trying to emulate, I guess you could say. Next one I have here is this one, 
This one's called Dolman's World Fairy Tales Coloring Book. This is what I had to translate. And um, so there's actually a few versions out here. Uh, out, there's like one that you can get printed like on the regular Amazon and you can get one printed Korean and you can get one printed from uh, Amazon Japan. I think mine comes from Amazon Japan. But I know that their papers are different because I've heard on different channels. Um, I'm hoping I have a good paper because mine's mine's a pretty thick paper. Um, yeah, these are different fairy tales and a very sketchy uh, grayscale. I think this is supposed to be Belle, Beauty and the Beast. There's stars in there. I'm just kind of looking, keeping an eye out. That looks like Anna Green Gables. She's cutting her hair. She must be Rapunzel. Oh, it says, and this one's Pinocchio. And the Nutcracker. Secret Garden. Oh, that one's in a language I can't read it. This is the Little Prince. So the Little Prince, if you've seen this one, it actually takes place in outer space or like on planets and stuff. You know the story about that. So I'm going to tab that one for Space Timber. It's got stars and he's sitting on a planet. Three Little Pigs. Oh, here's some color palette you can use. So that's this one. And um, next one I have here is this one right here. And what is this one called? Comfortable and Lovely Coloring Book. This one I remember seeing on Lavellia's. This one, the um, mine art is very light, very sketchy. Um. After I got this, I had mixed feelings about it. I wasn't sure if I liked it or not. I think what I need to do is actually color a page to determine if I like it. And if it's not really my thing, since it's so sketchbook style, um, maybe I will donate it, but we'll see. It's about a couple basically. So you could draw a galaxy there if you wanted. And same with this one, because the sky is empty. But yeah, there is that one. So, um, yeah, I'm at 33 minutes. Uh, I am going to show you one that I have recently colored in, um, just because it is an Asian book. It's this one, the Woodland Kingdom Coloring Book by Toshiyoki Fukuda. I think that's how you say it. And this one is a project book, I, project book I've been working on with two fellow colorists, um, Christina and Sherry. And... Um, I can show you what I've done in this book. So I've done this first thing, and they're single-sided because, um, like, here's a blank one. So you could use your alcohol markers. And what I plan on doing is, like, after I've colored this one, I'll glue those two together. Does that make sense? So I'll glue these two together when... This is colored because I've done these two. Here's an example of some. Whoops, hope I didn't bump you too much. It has kind of some busy pages, but it has simpler ones. Like I've done this one. Here's one with a whole bunch of like bugs and flowers and stuff. So this one I just finished, 
So this is going to be in my completed pages, but um, this one we did last, not last month, but the month before, the dog page. But this was the one that we chose for this this next time. And then I kind of distressed around the whole thing so that they would kind of go together. And like I've done this one. Like I've done a lot in this book. And it's probably because it's a project book. I probably would have never touched it if it wasn't. These squiggly lines may put people off, but it's actually really relaxing to color in because you don't have to worry about coloring outside the lines really. With that little leeway, it really does help. Um, I've colored this one. I remember I did it as a color palette when I had the Wonka movie thing. And this was the color palette of the Wonka deal. <laughs> But yeah, um, any more? Not there. I think, I think this is the last one. And the last one I've done is this one in here. And it has like a glittery background. That's why I put the um, wax paper in there. I don't think they'd stick together, but just to make sure, I just set that in there so that <laughs> there's no possible way that they're going to stick together. But yeah. That is all I've done in this one. So you'll see this again in my completed coloring pages for the month of August. But yeah, this is Woodland Kingdom coloring book. And if you're looking for a starter coloring book and you like Scandinavian folk art design, um, I would highly suggest this one. I got it on the regular Amazon. Put that away. And I am going to wrap up here um, and I will be back with another movie or another movie, another video of my um, Asian coloring book collection very soon. I have another pile that was about as large as this one and then I have another little section on a shelf and that's all. And um, if there's anything that I missed, I'll kind of go over it at the end. But um, I will put the, the hashtag on the screen for Jamie's Asian. And um, yeah, I hope you guys can join me for the next few months and color in your Asian coloring books. I think a lot of us get intimidated by these books. They're so beautiful, so we want them. And we tend not to color in them because they're so intimidating. And I'm thinking this is a great way to conquer those imitations imitating books that we all love um hope you enjoyed this video video i can't even talk guys and have a wonderful evening day night whatever it is in your neck of the woods i'll see you next time bye friends